Hi guys, welcome to our YouTube channel, the Jory Clan. We are talking about our journey to the location in Germany and our exploration with our two kids and my dear wife. So now today we are talking about um, a very interesting uh, storyline. We have our friend, our colleague here, who is Kate. these two people are Kenyans, by the way. They're going to share their story. So let's start with the, this guy here. Hi, Teddy. Hi. So you tell us about yourself. Um, yeah, I'm Teddy. Um, 24? Yeah, I'm 26. Damn, I'm getting older. Oh, <laughs> damn. Two, six years old. I don't even like it. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's getting older all the time. Um, <laughs> Yeah, um been in Germany for about eight years now. Wow, all eight years. Okay. Eight years, yeah. yeah. Cold eight years. Um, <laughs> I came here in 2014, finished high school in 2012, did my languages at Gotu University. Um, Wait, back in Kenya? Back in Kenya, Nairobi. Okay. Um, after that, I did a little of computer, you know, the usual things. The it's seven in, packages, only 14. All of them. <laughs> I, I did the whole thing. Yes, yes, yes. Um, yes. Yeah, and then I came here on a voluntary basis. It's called FSJ or FSJ. Okay, okay, wait. After doing your after doing your high school, which high school do you study? Uh, Nyeri Baptist High School. Nyeri Baptist. After yeah. high school, you you did you did you proceed to the college or what? No, I didn't. I so was, from there, you after high school, then then from high school, all I did was languages. You did languages. Yeah. Why? I mean, why did you study languages? Instead of uh, maybe going for driving school, she drove in a good driving. Right? Ah, <laughs> I had I had no interest in a lot of things like okay. driving and all. I knew I wanted to do something different, different, you know. And then you chose languages. So I just I was really interested in languages and kind of good at languages okay. more than most, most things. Yeah. So that's the route I chose for myself. Okay. So you, languages you chose German or you chose there's some German, other yeah. Why German? Um, everyone is doing French. Okay. <laughs> and I have no interest in French. It's the too many syllables. They did it in primary school. Uh, I didn't like it that much. Mm -hmm. So you know, I had the option, so I did German, and then later on my mom married a German guy. Oh, so it's kind of just switch. So okay, okay, okay. Later on, after studying, then mom married a German guy. Yeah, and things, things. You can just yeah. Jigsaw. You can get to Missouri too. Wow, wow, amazing. Mm -hmm. So tell me then, after 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 studying um, the German course and all that, how did you how did you know that? Um, my mom's husband, my stepdad. He was giving me options like if I'd like to come here, what I'd like to do, mm -hmm. and all that, and the steps and how it, you can come here. Mm -hmm. There's uh, the au pair program, mm -hmm. but that was not that was not for me. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm not that okay. I have kids, but I'm not good with kids. It's other people's <laughs> kids. That's, that's, it's a learning curve. Yes, yes. At that point, I didn't want to, so I chose the FSJ. 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 Yeah. In English, and um, yeah, it was a good run because. I got into the medical field, I had to learn a lot of German, yeah. practice it, go to speak to people, meet various uh, nationalities and all that, you know, everything that happens in a field like medicine and all. Yeah. It was a good first experience, you know, at first they always homesick, mm -hmm. that's normal, you know. Wait, before, before boarding that plane mm -hmm. to, to Germany, tell us about how do you deal with Afin? You've gotten the advice from your dad, mm -hmm. and then uh, you just took it. Uh, the process, yeah, uh, yeah. He he helped me a bit with the entire process, obviously. Yeah. Um, because it's it's not that complicated a process, but you know, when you're German, it's still fresh. It's still you know you're not that good at it. You still need a little bit of help with translation mm -hmm. and all that. Mm -hmm. And there's some papers they needed, so we had to send them here, so he can get them um, iron pumped. Like, certified or recognized okay. by the German government. Okay. Okay. Um, so we applied. We applied to a hospital. Mm. Um, he, his father, he is friends with the clinic director. Mm. So they looked up a program. They found a program where I could fit in, mm. which was close to my uh, grandparents, like mm. his parents. Mm. And um, when I applied, there are a few chances, but I got a spot and I was lucky. 
other people apply through there are many websites offering mm -hmm. episodes um, throughout the country. Mm -hmm. Good places like Frankfurt, mm -hmm. Berlin, Hamburg, mm -hmm. München, Stuttgart, mm -hmm. so many places mm -hmm. where you can have the option. So we applied. Uh, I had to do a video interview. You applied. You applied for FSJ. FSJ. Yeah. What's FSJ. FSJ. Yeah. When? Then uh, then you chose a spot with which in which city? Uh, it was back in Osnabrück. Okay. It's a city close to the border of Germany and uh, yeah, that's Belgium. Yeah. 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 So that's where I got my spot. It's a, it's a remote town. It's not that big a city. Like. Um. Like yeah. say Anuba or Bali. It's smaller, 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 smaller. As small as you can, like you can walk through the town and back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that kind of yeah. like here you can almost call it like a village. It's, oh, is it? Yeah. Okay, nice. So, so here you are. You, 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 uh, you, you've done all this process. You've applied. You got a spot. Yeah. You come to Germany. You get went straight to the, the to the college. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, like I had. My visa was like it's, my work was starting a week after my visa started, so I came here. I had like a week to you know find myself and buy things and you know prepare for winter and all that. Because oh, I came in winter. That was uh, that was my first. You winter. came in winter. I came in winter. It was tough. Okay. It was goddamn. Yeah, so, yes, 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 yes. So um, you know, just alone or your dad and you mean your mom or someone? Uh, like my mom and my stepdad were living here also. We're living in the same same, the same city, yeah. same city okay. but they were like 30 minutes away. For 30. That is not bad. It's Maybe so if bad. you feel so cold, you can run back. Uh, <laughs> uh, so, yeah. Okay. But um, yeah, so you know, the first week you have to prepare yourself. Yeah. And then work starts. You know, they, there's a little bit of an orientation. Mm. They show you how everything works, what mm. you need to do, your routine in. Um, it's called shootings, so the early shifts and shootings, the late shift. Mm -hmm. What you need to do for both of those shifts that you need to prepare your interaction with the patients and all that and um you know just the daily process of work life here how me as an ordinary kenyan ordinary nigerian ordinary african ordinary person mm -hmm. listening to your story today mm -hmm. how what makes me qualify for that FSA program what are the qualifications that um, makes me fit to the say, for, for instance the role you took you, you are a doctor or a nurse um, I'm a nurse right yeah. now. I'm doing my surgical specialty. Yes. Um, it takes about another two years, so you need to learn nursing three years, and then the surgical specialty takes another two years. Mm -hmm. So like five years of learning. Um, when you apply for the FSJ, um, I think it's close to the au pair mm -hmm. in terms of age and all the requirements. Mm -hmm. for, for example, 18 to 27, I think, was the age limit. Um, they take people with B1 or higher. Mm -hmm. Um, the advantage I had was I had family here, so when it comes to financial resources, I had a bit of a backup, just in case anything went wrong, or yeah. you know, or maybe there's come. You know, thought so, you know. And they also ask you um, when you're at the embassy if um, at the end of your year if you're still willing to come back to Kenya because you know, at end of the day, it's still a lot for Kenya when everyone is moving away, yes. and, you know. So they try and filter out. And look at who's going to go and stay here and who's going to come back. Sometimes they're a bit biased because they tend to refute young girls the chance to come here because they think they only want to come here and get married to a white guy and mm -hmm. pop out babies and you know. <laughs> Wait. So 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 uh anyone can apply so long as you have a B one level. Is it B one or B two? Uh, used to used to be B one when it came to yeah. that time, huh? Yeah. Maybe things have changed, but I do not. I don't think so. Okay, so that level you don't have, and you have to be fresh from high school, or you may you can do it even after university. Uh, so Kenya. that people who do it after university, yeah, okay. yeah, you don't you just don't need to be fresh from high school to just okay. apply. And uh, uh, something else, um, what is it? When you when you join the program, mm -hmm. uh, do they do they like give you a full scholarship, or what happens? Uh, when you they join, pay for your program for their study. Uh, when you join the program, yeah. it's a, you just it's like you're working. You're, you're working. not exactly studying. Yeah. So in this one year, all you're really doing is you're assisting people in their day-to-day -day job. Yeah. So you get paid as not that much as you expect because it's still a thousand euros. Nah, less. Okay. Less. Okay. Because I know people get from three hundred to seven hundred yeah. euros. Yeah. 
uh, some places offer accommodation and all like they offer like um, housing for like let's say they hire like three four people from different countries or yeah. even from the same country yeah they put them up in one place together so they don't have to pay rent mm -hmm. yeah. and you get like let's say 200 less than the guy who's not getting a house wow um, but it's very specific according to uh, I think the company that's okay. hiring okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, anything else apart from that after getting the opportunity to you know study that that was how many years ago yeah, seven, seven, seven years. years. Yeah. So many things changed. You did your one year, is it? You said it for yeah. one year after the first year. I did my voluntary year. Yeah. Um, towards the end, within the last three four months, mm. I started looking for nursing programs and all that, mm. and looking at what I can do, where I can do it. Mm. I got lucky and I got a a clinic, a hospital here in Hildesheim. It's about thirty minutes from Manugo. Um, that's why I did my, my nursing program. So here in Anuva, you are you are studying. I mean, you are working as a full time. Um, after I did my nursing after program, I did your nursing program. I yeah. Um, I worked for one year in a psychiatric clinic. Yeah. And then I moved to psychiatric. Anuva. Yeah, those people who are not mentally stable. Yeah. Oh, I hope you you you, you did it well. Yeah, it was, it was, it was a good job. Yes, it was a fun yes. job. I had a lot of good colleagues. Yes. It was a, it was a good job. Yeah. Um, but unfortunately, a lot of people quit because yeah. we had a bit of restructuring and all that. Yeah. And I thought, you know, if everyone is quitting, you know, all my colleagues and all, then let me also look for something that's a bit more fitting to what I want to do. Okay. So from then, uh, you, you chose a different path where you are that's now. That's why I moved from psychiatry to yeah. surgeon. Okay. I've been working at. Um, Medicine yeah. um, since 2019. Wow. As a, as a... It's a, it's a, it was a change, you know, you need to, it's a different kind of job. Yeah. To what I was used to. Yeah. It was kind of hard at the start. It's always... The punishment. You know, yeah. Um, so you just need, you know, um, they take, normally they take people not, uh, not, um, when you're done with the nursing program, yes. you have to learn work for one or two years mm. um, on the stations, mm. and then afterwards they accept you into surgery and all that. Those are the requirements for nurses. Are there, are there guarantees? Are there, are there job guarantees that once you're done with the program, then, then you'll be a As a nurse, it's always a guarantee. So there's a guarantee. There's a guarantee. Because they need a lot of nurses and they have you know, almost no one. Okay. Because most Germans, they don't want to go into the field of medicine. They prefer business or construction or, you know. Yeah. Germany is a country that builds, that makes a lot of cars. Yes, yes. Manufacturing. A Manu lot of manufacturing and all that. And yes. A lot of people go into that. Um, we have Volkswagen about one hour from here, mm -hmm. the factory. We have... What did you say, the, the name of the factory? Volkswagen. Fox, VW. VW. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, you bring in the, the German accent. Yeah, it just comes in. That's the problem. <laughs> eight years. Eight years. Yeah. Eight years. Eight years. I, I thought you would say Volkswagen. But yeah. then you say Volkswagen. That's good. Because the V changes it to add. To add from the yeah. family changes to V. <laughs> no. German is interesting. Well, yeah. so 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 you said Germans prefer others, other choices, yeah. not to the medical. Yeah. Yeah. So here in the medic field, you love it, you enjoy whatever you're doing, yeah. and you want to to encourage others. Anyone who's interested, they can do it. It's a, it's a nice job, it's a good job, and it pays well. It's safe, it's secure. Yeah, you always guarantee the job, and yeah. it pays well. Yeah, yeah. Um, there are also good chances or good opportunities to you know study other things after us if you want. Mm. For most people yeah. use it as a stepping stone to study medicine or that. Like um, after you're done with your three years of nursing, um, you don't have to wait for university to accept you. Mm. Most people have a waiting time of one to five years, mm. depending on the grades. And when you're done with nursing, you have a better chance of getting into a good medical university. Wow, I mean, then talk about your family. I mean, uh, uh, introduce your wife, introduce your family to this uh, uh, channel. <laughs> my very, very Hey. Hey. Yeah. Tracy, yes, mother of my two kids. Oh, very shy. Uh, but when you meet in person, she's talkative as hell. Oh, Tracy, say something. We want to hear your voice. Hi, I'm Tracy. 
<laughs> oh, Tracy, tell us, tell us, tell us something. One minute, you know about yourself. Where did you come from? Where did you, where you come from? I know you are. I know you are one of the greatest cooks. Huh? Mm -hmm. Since coming, since coming to this place, we've really enjoyed. She does, she does some meticulous. I mean, good job in the kitchen. Okay, I'm Tracy. I come from Kenya. I'm a man of two. And, okay. and, and. <laughs> And um, I don't know. <laughs> so many things. I went to high school in Boni. That's why we know each other. Nice. Wow. Yeah. yeah uh, um, Tracy studied with my wife here in uh, Tuboni Girls High School back in well in Nairobi. Yeah, it's little Kambani. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. These are the Kambani people. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, uh, well, thank you so much. Okay, okay, guys. Thank you so much for watching our YouTube channel. Thank you, thank you so much, uh, Ted, for sharing this wonderful story. Yeah. I hope this story inspires many people to come to Germany and to also to medicine and to study your field. Uh, to, yeah. to, uh, to, yeah. to, to grow in your field as well. Thank you so much, um, everyone. Thank you for always supporting us. Your comments, your views, like, share, comment. Yeah, we got it. 2023. Happy New Year, guys. Happy New Year. Happy New Year.